We came up with the idea of the cinema, I think it was in 2018. It came up uh, because there was a futurist cinema in here in Elsica, which was one of the, the first cinemas in the borough. But in the 80s it was closed, so we just thought it would be a really, really nice idea to bring it back to the community. As we were looking into it and thinking about the first event, it was uh, then that we noticed that the Back to the Future film came out in 1985. We knew that actually it had probably never been shown at the Futurist. So in a, in a sense, we imagined the whole thing as being a bit of a kind of um, stuck in time. So we thought that would be the perfect film and invite people to come and share their memories of cinema uh, as a launch vehicle and that would act as a catalyst for our call to arms for volunteers people to get involved with the futurist projects. I first found out about the futurist through Facebook because I saw the Back to the Future event and I thought that that looked really cool so um, I thought I'd you know email and see if, if, if I can help out because um, yeah it, it was something that's in the local community and I thought it would be really cool to, to try it out. I'm a young volunteer for The Futurist and I joined because I wanted to get some work experience to help with job applications because I go to the job centre. Um, but I did end up staying because the people are okay. <laughs> So we got involved with the Futurist Cinema as Cinema for All by running a programme called Launchpad Hot House in which we helped train people who were wanting to set up a community cinema. And we offered these training sessions in things like marketing, film programming, accessibility and outreach and those types of things. Um, so we were giving them all the tools to kind of get going and launch their community cinema. What really impressed me about the Futurist in particular was the fact that they had a really really clear vision of what they wanted to do right from the beginning. They wanted to be for the community and led by people in the community. I think community cinemas like the Futurists are important because um, a lot of people, because uh, this includes myself, um, a lot of people spend time indoors and you know maybe I'll just watch you know like something on TV or you know on, on the internet um, but you never realise until you actually go out to community events or, or, or places that um, you know you're actually missing you know a whole like kind of world um, and it's been really nice to just like take part and um, just like have fun with everyone. So I think social cinemas are really important because they provide a way to combat social isolation. Uh, we're currently in the midst of a loneliness epidemic where we see more people describing themselves as lonely than ever before and I think um, these types of events that bring the community together and get them to interact and socialise with one another and share, share a cultural experience together are just incredibly important ways of, of tackling that issue and I think the Futurist has really been able to do this um, by involving young people uh, and, and I think that's really allowed, um, I think having young people in Involved is really important because it's a way for them to leave their mark, it's a way for them to take control, it's a way for them to programme the films that they want to see and for them to have a go at running a cinema and you know where else will you get that opportunity in your local community. We were at a panel for engaging young people and one of the questions asked was what it was like to be a young person that's seen as um, lazy and Obviously, me being on the dole, not having a university degree, not knowing how to drive, um, I wanted to get my voice across because I'm not lazy. And with the cinema, it proves that you're not lazy. You have to do so much work from meetings, actually setting up the cinema. Um, you have to come up with ideas and I run the social media account and that is actually a lot of work. We have to plan all of our posts, we have to write. Um, copies for the film so people know what the film is about. We have to research a lot of things and it's not in any way <laughs> something for someone who's lazy. I think um, the difference for the volunteers is first of all so they've got the opportunity to actually be a part of a team so they are um, actually um, having maybe some friends and some colleagues and they are dealing with like um, community members, so they are just opening up for, for some chat. 
Um, the other skills might be that also for volunteers they're getting training, so they are getting knowledge how to run the cinema, but not only the cinema, it's also around marketing, um, around logistics, uh, around licensing uh, and other aspects, so they are also getting uh, like a skills and knowledge around it which they could use in the future. The reason projects like The Futurist are so important is they give a platform to possibility. They bring people together for a shared experience which is quite different to watching a, a film by yourself or just a couple of you. Actually, you uh, share humour, you share the, the kind of challenges of whatever that film is, but you share time and an experience together. And that has kind of been really overt when we did the 50th anniversary screening of films like Kez, where, you know, there's 150 people in a room laughing together. But more importantly, I guess the, the kind of heart and soul of the futurist is it elevates the young people that have got skills and passion that they can invest in this project. To me, it's, the futurist means, like, passionate people getting together to make... Um, you know, like events for the movies, uh, to make it really like fun and like enjoyable for the community to like take part in and yeah. <laughs> to me, the future of cinema means um, friendship and it also means getting my voice across as a young person. I'm unemployed, I'm young, I've not got a university degree or anything like that. So I'm of a spectrum that people tend to ignore. So it helps to get a voice across from someone that's usually not listened to. So far we've got more than 15 screenings um, and I think there were more than 1,000 people already attended the screening so that's a very successful result for us um, and we've been in partnership with many organisations like um, Buenos Aires Woodhouse, like Cooper Gallery, uh, we've also been partnered with Barnsley Civic and Off the Shelf Festival so that's, that's very successful for us. Another highlight for me and for the future is was that we've been awarded a national commendation uh, for the best new society uh, on the national conference. The Futurist really quickly got together a team of um, people who were really dedicated and enthusiastic to the cinema and I think that's something that other groups could really learn from. Not only has this group become a real, really strong team of people who love working together, um, but people got involved straight away, pitching in with screenings, helping out with, with different events, and they've since been able to programme their own film screenings and really leave their mark on the futurist which I think is something that's really special. So the futurist for me it's um, personally a very emotional project because I've been involved since the beginning and I really wanted that project to be very successful and because I'm very passionate about the cinema and also the events um, it was also kind of a personal journey for me to um, develop my skills and all my experience but also I get to know like many other people, very lovely people and I've been working with, with really cool volunteers um, so it's been a really really nice time and I hope it will stay like that. We have been incredibly proud of all the volunteers um, that have been involved with the project because they're hands-on with all aspects of it and we feel that they've been empowered to actually make decisions, take risks, learn from things that don't work so well but also uh, absolutely own the successes uh, of this community cinema and like I said I've been involved with community cinemas before but it's quite rare that you get 150 people attending a community cinema it means something to people and also actually it means something to those that make it happen my advice for people that want to set up a community cinema is to just go for it you know, you never know what it will look like. You might have 100 people, you might have 10 people, but I guarantee you'll make a big difference and you'll really enjoy what you're doing. 